Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is going to be the next hockey video. This is Sports Tonight News. I'm Joe Bork. This is going to be the Chicago Blackhawks season preview, who have, of course, led by the great stars of Patrick Kane and now back, welcoming back into the fold, Jonathan Tate, and a welcoming addition of Mark Andre Fleury, a Bezina winner. Mark Andre Fleury, one of the best goalies still, even at his age in the league, probably honestly, arguably could be considered the third best goalie, especially coming off of last season behind Vasilevsky and Connor Hellbuck. And now you got him in Shy Town. So again, please, if you enjoy the content, subscribe down below or on the widget up above at the end of the video. The Blackhawks also have some nice young talent up already in Ian Mitchell, claimed Wyatt Colnuck. You guys seem to have turned him already into a solid defenseman from the Philadelphia Flyers organization. Alex Regular, somebody you would like to see play with a little bit more intensity, but already just one of those doesn't do anything stupid, um, does everything type right type of guyers. And then Caleb Jones is out for the first couple of weeks of the season. But even with that on the defense, now you get Ian Mitchell to have an opportunity to play early. We'll see what he's able to do with that opportunity. I feel like he's going to have success. He had decent success in spurts last year when he was up for his 39 game. Then Riley Stillman's a defenseman that's shown exactly kind of what I just <clears throat> mentioned when it came to regular uh, he just doesn't do, he just keeps it simple, he does everything he has to do, he's never going to do anything sexy and overly amazing for you, but he's just going to play a good defensive game, move the puck up the ice, and kind of get it to where it needs to go, and get it to who it needs to go, like the Patrick Kane and Jonathan Tazes of the world. Then you brought in Jake McCabe, I think that was a good addition, he got the hell out of Buffalo into an organization <clears throat> that he can now kind of get going with, with Connor Murphy, who's a great defenseman to be paired with. Of course, Seth Jones in there is going to be a huge difference with Calvin DeHaan. That's going to be a very good defensive line. And then guys you look to bounce back this year is Dylan Strome at the top of the list. And you brought back in Eric Gustafson, who the um, Islanders got rid of in this um, preseason when he was on a tryout. So a good guy to bring back in. Actually did pretty good successfully when he was with the Blackhawks last season. And I think also a big thing of bringing in Marc-Andre Fleury is not just you have Marc-Andre Fleury. You still got that dude. You still got the guy that was the big reason why you guys were a surprise team last year. Got to where you were, were able to be a team that now added and made additions saying, hell, maybe we are ahead of the rebuild more than we thought. The hockey news doesn't think so because they have you sixth in the division. But this is all about once you get past those two teams, you can pretty much throw Nashville and the Coyotes at the bottom of the division. And then you have the Avalanche and probably Jets at the top of the division. Then you have everybody battling it out. I don't see your Blackhawks team projecting coming into the season being a playoff team. But nobody saw it last year either. And they have a good young goalie now, Kevin Lankin, with one of the best veteran goalies, one of the better goalies of our generation in Mark andre Fleury, who's still kicking butt. So I think this team has a chance to compete. I think they definitely have a chance to be better than sixth place. That's for damn sure. But I definitely think they have a chance to compete. I wouldn't be surprised if you finish in fourth right out of it and compete to the end. Or this is just a really close division, three through five. And it's kind of a brute thing to the end. But I think just the youngness of the Blackhawks, make that into an adjective, are going to um kind of come out and play, which is kind of what it did at the end of last season. You got Mackenzie Entwitzel, who's a nice player, played well in his cup of coffee. Young at 22, playing a pivotal role. Kirby Doc is obviously a guy you want to see come back in. If he breaks out and has a fantastic season, which is very, even though he's only 20, that's very obviously um, capable of doing that. You have Henrik Bjorkstrom you brought in too. And you got Fio Korshev, who I really liked last year. He fell off a little bit at the end, but I do still like as an overall player. Kuba League's great. Taze is going to be amazing, obviously. But you have all these young guys mixed in. You're still waiting to get into the primes and waiting to really get churning and really get going, other than the um, the Brinkats and Canes. And then you obviously brought in Tyler Johnson, great two-way player, good pickup there. I think this team definitely has a shot this year. They definitely, I think are going to be a competitive team again, and I don't think it's going to be a surprise to people if they are in that four spot, like I said, or five spot, that then can maybe turn into reverse of last year. Maybe y'all can kind of be like the St. Louis Cardinals of hockey and then kind of get churning at the end of the season if this division's close. Because you have Flurry, you have a good defense that's not even fully healthy, so when people are back, that will even intensify your defense more. you got good defensive forwards, obviously, in Tyler Johnson. Kane can play both ends. He's honestly pretty underrated. And then you obviously have Taze back now, who really helps your defense. Kirby Doc's good on both ends. 
Brandon Hagel's a nice little player at the bottom there. So you got a good team. The Central Division, to me, minus the Avalanche and Jets, is kind of, and then the Wild are pretty probably the favorite, I would say, for most people that would probably put them third, other than if it's the Blues. You you have a competition between the Blues then and yourselves, Blackhawks fan, to compete for that fourth spot and to compete to be right behind the third and try to fight for that to season's end and maybe become that Cardinals S team. You got some nice young guys coming up the pike too. Henry Bjorkstrom, I already mentioned. Nolan Allen's a little ways away. Lucas Raquel was a good pick. Um, so you got some nice guys that are going to be able to be a part of this core going forward. The team's a little young, so I wouldn't project them to be in the postseason over some of the teams like the Wild or the Blues, but you definitely have a chance if you decide to start as hot as you did last year, but kind of hold it a little bit more and stay in that 5-4 spot rather than being in the projected, the hockey new 6 spot, and then get on a late run because these young guys are going to get great ample experience. Kirby Doc is probably going to take off. So you have a chance. I just don't see a projecting being in to start the season, but you never know. We were a surprise team last year made you guys go out and get the Seth Jones of the world. The Tyler Johnson's definitely very nice improvement. You brought Rock Andre Fleury in net. It's just good to see how you go up against those more veteran teams that are more veteran through and through and not just at the top of the lineup with the Canes and Tazes of the world and the Calvin DeHans on defenses of the world. So we'll see how it goes, but I think you guys will have a successful season of many young guys having great success and developing further whether you make the playoffs or not and will compete at least till the last month or so of the season. Have a great save and pleasant day, everybody. I hope you enjoy the Blackhawks season preview. Subscribe down below if you enjoy the content or up above on that great Professor Joe Widget. Peace out, everybody. Good luck to you Blackhawks fans and enjoy the 2021-22 NHL season. Peace out.